Good morning. Our opening song is number 600, Rain Down. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love on your God of life. Faithful and true is the word of our God. All of God's works are so worthy of trust. God's mercy falls on the just and the right. Full of God's love is the earth. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love, God of life. We who revere and find hope in our God, live in the kindness and joy of God's wing. God will protect us from darkness and death. God will not leave us to starve. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love, God of life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we gather in the name of the Lord, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed to provide shepherds for your people, pour out in your church a spirit of piety and fortitude to raise up worthy ministers for your altars and make them ardent yet gentle heralds of your gospel. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosanna. Thus says the Lord, they made kings of in, in Israel, but, nit, but not by my authority. They established princesses, but not without my approval. With their silver and gold, gold they made idols for themselves to their own destruction. Cast away your calf, O Samaria. My wrath is kindled against them. How long will they be unable to attain innocence in Israel? The work of an artisan, no God at all, destined for the flames, such is the calf of Samaria. When they sow the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. The stalk of grain that forms no ear can yield no flower. Even if it could, strangers would not swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expedite sin, his altars became occasions of sin. Though I write for him my many ordinances, they are considered as strangers. Though they offer sacrifice, 
Emelins fresh and eat it too. The Lord is not pleased with them. He shall still remember their guilt and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. The house also. of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have mouths but, but speak not. They have eyes but, not, not, but see not. They have ears but hear not. They have noses but smell not. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have hands, but feel not. They have feet, but walk not. They, their maker shall be like them, everyone that trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and my know me. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A, demoni a demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus, and when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. This week, we are concentrating on the uh, prophet Hosea, or Osi, depending upon which translation you want to follow. Um, of, and he is one who is really criticizing the people of Israel because they have not followed the ways of the Lord. I mean, these are a people that should understand the whole meaning of they uh, knew found freedom as they came from Egypt into the promised land. And even though it's many years later, they continue to be reminded every year, like we ourselves, with Christ's death and resurrection, of its meaning and power and force in our lives. But they didn't. And so it just declares how they have created all kinds of other gods. It may be their work. It may be their desire for um, play, for an easy life. It may be for um, cheating uh, through their, their businesses. All kinds of things are expressed by Hosea. And, of course, the prophet truly challenges them to 
return to the Lord their God and uh, acknowledge their guilt and um, receive the punishment for their sinfulness. And so as we come to Jesus in the gospel reading, it is not that the demoniac has committed all kinds of sinfulness, but we certainly realize that Jesus has the power to heal, the power to return to life those who have um, sinned. And so the end of the reading is really a plea for prayer, prayer in order that we might have um, laborers to work within the vineyard, to bring people to Christ, to bring people to the kingdom of heaven. Nothing makes Jesus sadder than to have people turn away from him, having been his creation, and to reject all that he is and all that he is about. So we truly need laborers who will proclaim the gospel in a way that changes hearts, that brings people to the divine life of the kingdom. May we now pray for the multitude of attentions that are set before us um, as a community and as a world as we pray. We pray for Pope Francis and for Bishop Bricken as they desire to care for the world as Jesus would and to inspire others by their words and work. We pray to the Lord. We pray for um, all of those who are affected by the COVID-19 virus, that we truly may find um, a way to overcome its uh, destruction of our lives, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our policemen and civil workers that we truly may, may be able to create peace within our society, we pray to the Lord. We pray that those who have lost their jobs may find um, suitable work to use their talents as well as support their lives and families, we pray to the Lord. We uh, pause to add our own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all of those who have died, especially for Bob Tremel. We pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, we place our needs into your hands, for you are gracious, loving, and merciful. Allow us to walk along your pathways to the kingdom. We ask our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. Look kindly, we pray, O Lord, on the prayers and offerings of your people, that the stewards of your mysteries may grow in number and persevere always in your love. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed your people in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonders to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so, with all the angels, we praise you and in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, (laughs) you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you. By the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you 
so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your ch children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Amen. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of, his la of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let's pray. Renewed with the bread of the heavenly table, we entreat you, O Lord, that through this sacrament of charity, the seeds you sow with great abundance in the field of your church may come to maturity so that many may make it their choice in life to serve you in their brothers and sisters through Christ our Lord. And so let us pray um, a Hail Mary for our seminarian. It's in here someplace. A Ben Pribino, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we pray for a seminarian, um, I mean for a priest, religious, and de deacon from uh, Prince of Peace Parish. We pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we pray the prayer to St. Joseph together. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the Church. May Mary, with Jesus the High Priest, you know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May we go in peace to love and serve the Lord. We sing the third verse of Rain Down, number 600. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love, God of Life, God of creation, we long for your truth. You are the water of life that we thirst. Grant that your love and your peace touch our lives. All of our hope lies in you. Rain down, rain down. Rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love, God of life.